Now, here at Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, yeah. we make a promise to not pass judgment on your... <clears throat> not yeah, you, pass, can't, you can't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> not pass judgment uh-huh. on your dating style or uh-huh. your dating choices. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, okay, no, sorry. We, we promise we won't judge you too severely. Uh-huh. Okay, we will judge you brutally and harshly, uh-huh. but at least not directly to your face. <laughs> All right. Because oh, you're on the phone. Oh, because we're, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. I, we mouth. would otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I we don't say, ever see anybody's faces. That was definitely yeah. a difficult promise for us to keep with today's caller. Yeah. Especially when he told us about the big surprise he planned for his date night. Mm. I will tell you there was a blindfold involved uh. and a little bit of deception. Uh. What the heck? But he swears it went even better than he had planned. Oh, wow. And wow. she loved it, too. You're going to hear it in your brand new second date update right after this. <laughs> A guy named Chris wrote us saying he's made a rule to never ask a woman out ever again. Really? Wow. Wait, is it after whatever happened that he's on the phone with us for or before? I'm just reading this from his email, but Chris explained he learned a new strategy from a video that he saw Uh where if you're a guy and you say, hey, would you like to go out to dinner with me on Saturday night? Yeah. You're already putting yourself at a disadvantage right there. Why? Because in the woman's mind, she's thinking... If I say yes, then I'm doing him a favor, oh. and he's going to end up having a great night because of me. Wait, she's not oh. thinking, wow, I, I'm really excited he asked me. And get me. a free meal? No. Yeah, she's oh, thinking okay. free meal. She's thinking. Sorry, <laughs> I was being more We're nice, going beyond Alexis. the meal. She's thinking, yeah. if I say yes, then I'm giving him the gift of spending time with me. If Aww. I say no, then this loser has nothing going on in his life. I don't he know. is going to spend <laughs> the entire evening all alone in his apartment yeah. watching Netflix and eating old pizza. I don't know that that's right. I don't I don't think that's how women think. Even yeah. if that's not true, okay. that's what he says. That's what a lot the of video. women think. So oh, instead, he uses okay. a different okay. strategy that makes him look really, really good when I, he asks people out. All right. I want to know what it is. I love okay. when men say what women think. It's so cute. Okay, continue. Yeah. Well, let's talk to uh, Chris about this and see what it's all about. Chris, how you doing, man? Hey, good, man. How are you? Hey. I'm very curious to I learn what the strategy is. So, and, Wait, is the strategy something you came up with, or is this also from the video that Jeff referenced? No, I learned this on an Instagram video, but I am okay. telling you it works 90% of the time. It's oh. a fantastic little trick wow. here. Okay, All right. so you don't ask a woman, hey, do you want to go out to dinner with me? What do you do instead? See, what you got to do is you got to tell them that you're already doing something and then you invite them to come along with you. Okay. So, oh, like, you're okay. going to dinner by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what? not that's funny, really funny. Bro. That's That not is funny. not funny. <laughs> I, I think you have a lot of friends, and I'm sure you have a very active social life, Chris. But what if you don't have plans already? Well, yeah, so you, you got to plan out your night a little bit, right? You got to put a little thought into this. Okay, okay. that's a positive. Yeah, you tell you got the night planned, you've got you're going out to dinner, you're gonna go do X, Y, Z. Now she's got a little bit of FOMO. She's got a little bit of that fear of missing out on, on some action. I see what you're saying. You're you're saying you're trying to put the idea into the girl's head that you have a life outside of her. Yeah. That yes. she's not the only thing that's happening and her answer isn't gonna change you. But if she's lucky, okay. you can squeeze her in. Right. So who, okay. who did this work on that you went out with? Yeah, so this worked on Gina, girl I met online, met her on one of the apps, uh, very funny. Okay. Um, her and I were talking, both had a sense of humor. That's sweet. What was your proposal? What did you already have planned that she could join you for? So I invited her to this place that was opening that was serving some amazing seafood. Oh. Okay. okay. You're like, oh, I'm going to check out this new seafood place. You want to come with? Yeah, but I said, listen, we have a half an hour. Like, you got to get ready now, you know? So I oh. put a little bit of urgency. Oh, my God. Whoa. I don't think I could pick out an outfit in that time. That's true. <laughs> Maybe a girl. One of your bros, though. I'd be like, yeah, dog, let's go get some food. I mean, I feel like I would say yes just because of the pressure. <laughs> like, oh, my God. No matter what you're wearing, I don't though. have time to decide. No. Okay, you created urgency there. That That's a good thing. So she was up for it? She was up for it. Huh? So okay. I pick her up. She looked good. I looked good. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I told her, I said, listen, I'll drive. Get okay. in the car. I'll drive it's us so, there. And so when we were almost there. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Keep going. I said, listen, 
put on this blindfold what? because okay. where we're going, it's going to be a surprise, uh, and uh, I want to surprise you. Okay, super romantic if this has been your girlfriend for two years, but a first date. You've never met her you. before? Hold on. Let's not judge until we hear where this goes. So she puts the blindfold oh. on. Okay. Oh, you can tell girl. she's dumb or yeah, just trusting. <laughs> Maybe both. We get there. I take the blindfold off. And she sees a fillet of fish from McDonald's right in front of her. What? What? Oh, bro, what? wait. You what? said fresh food. Why? I thought you were taking her to seafood. Hey, it was seafood, right? It, it was technically <laughs> fish. This whole thing was a prank that you oh were playing God. on her, telling her she's going to have this nice meal, and you really took her to a fast food place and gave oh her a God, and fish you sandwich. Oh, my God. You made like, her rush, feel like she's yeah. getting kidnapped. What did she oh say? My God. That is she funny. saw that fillet of fish. So she takes the blindfold off and she's looking at this fillet of fish and I just see this look of confusion yeah. over oh, her okay. face. She was she went through every emotion. She was like pissed off for a second, oh. but oh. at the end of it she just started to laugh. Good. Wow. <laughs> Do you, I mean she took it the right way. Either that or she's laughing like, "Oh my god, of course this is my dating life." Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you're on the verge of tears laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After the joke is yeah. over, were you able to establish a romantic bond with her? Yeah, no, don't forget, I'm dressed up, too. So it was funny. You know, the whole thing was funny. That's good it's not just at her up. expense. Wow. Yeah. I'm just still processing uh-huh. it all. I like you how know? the guys are like, that's cute, yeah. good effort, I'm and the like... girls are like, yikes. Mm. <laughs> so how did, how did the date end? It was good, right? So we had a great time. I dropped her off at her place, and she even admitted that that was funny. Good. Okay. okay. So okay. what what's happened since then? So four or five days ago, mm-hmm. she invites me over to come to her place and hang out. Oh. oh. Really? During the nighttime or the daytime? I don't think she's going to say, come over at 9 a.m., Jeffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unless she's got, like, I don't know, a sink to unclog or Quick, something. Quick, McMuffins, get yeah. over here. I <laughs> thought it's a valid question. The timing's important. But Breakfast stops at 10. That mu- know, that's a obvious. good sign that she wants you over at any time of the yeah. day, I guess. I mean, she obviously likes you. She's inviting you over. Yeah. So that's what I thought. So I go to her house, I knock on her door, and she doesn't answer. Oh. oh, what? Maybe it's another prank. You guys are just the mm. prank couple. Mm. <laughs> that would feel good to get him back. Actually, it would. Or she's just, you or, could hear her laughing on the other end. If it was really late at night, maybe she fell asleep before he arrived. Oh, that's happened. <laughs> or if it was early in the morning, maybe she yeah. wasn't <laughs> up yet. <laughs> this is why the time question was yeah. so important. Yeah. I guess we're never going to know what time of day it was. What did you do? Did you hit snooze, buddy? <laughs> We're never going to know. We're out of time for the first part because now we got to go and we're going to come back and try and get you a second date update and maybe get some clarity on what time it was right after this. Hold on. (laughs) Pranking your date on your very first meetup is either the move of a very confident man Mm -hmm. or a very foolish one. Sometimes those are the same thing. We're we're just trying to figure out which one of those categories our listener Chris falls into. Because he convinced his date Gina to dress up really, really nice to go out and eat some seafood. Yeah, and she only had a half an hour to get ready. Now, technically he wasn't lying because he did treat her to seafood, uh, a filet of fish sandwich at a McDonald's. Which I will say it's my best friend's favorite. If a man took her to get a foil of fish, <laughs> honest to God. She'd be like, marry me. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's like, she'd be like, I'm divorcing my husband to marry you. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, wow. that's so, I mean, Brooke's friend's love language. Yeah, Who knows really if is. it's Gina's? But they were able to laugh about it afterwards, mm-hmm. after the prank was over. Yeah. And they've been in contact since then. Yeah, she even invited him over. So a lot of good signs. The only problem is it's not resulting in a date yet. Mm-hmm. But that's going to be our job to step in. God, that's crazy that she didn't answer the door. You're just standing there. I know. That's yeah. so weird. rude, actually. Oh, yeah. Maybe he got the wrong door. We don't know. Oh. I didn't think it's of that. Maybe it was a big apartment complex, <laughs> and she just texted the apartment, like, <laughs> building, Ooh. not the specific room. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't the wrong door, because it was the same door that I picked her up in. Yeah. Yeah, uh, see, Jeff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Got you. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm a dummy, so let's just end this part and get to the part where we call her and figure out what's going on. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm just a little uh, lost here because I'm knocking at the door. She didn't answer, and, you know, okay. I don't know what's going on it, here. You are being really understanding, which is nice. I mean, she invited you over for sure. Like, there wasn't, like, a, you know, there was no miscommunication in text. How do you miscommunicate that? I don't know. Like, you know, you want to kick it sometime? And he's like, on my way. Yeah, yeah no, this was very clear. Okay. He invited me over 
point blank. Okay, well, let's just point blank ask her why she's not going out with you. I'm dialing her number right now. Here we go. Hello? Hey, is this Gina? Uh, yeah, this is she. Are you sure you're Gina? <laughs> yeah, no, she took a second. She knows she's Gina. She, she doesn't, doesn't know, know who you, you are. are. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're the weird one in this situation. I'm Jeff from a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Hi, hey, Gina. Good the whole show's here. Hello? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's a little weird. What's this about? Um, this is about a segment that we do called a second date update. And we're trying to help one of our listeners meet up with you again after you already went out with him one time. Uh, his name is Chris. Yeah, I know Chris, but did I sign up for this? No, this isn't something you signed up for. Chris emailed us because he told us about your guys' first date together. Oh. He's a spontaneous <laughs> guy, that Chris, right? Pretty funny, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's quite the charmer. <laughs> yeah, he is. We love him. Is that good? He told us about the little practical joke that he played. I would love to know what was going through your head when he put a blindfold on you. And or, when he or you, it off. you put it on yourself, I guess. But well, I mean, at that point, I didn't have a choice. I was in his car. Well, you had a choice <laughs> yeah, to put did. the blindfold on. You could have said no. I mean, you were fully committed. I was committed. I mean, I I like him. And yeah. I mean, it was low-key funny at the end of the day, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got the okay. sense that you must have liked him because we heard that you even invited him over one one or one time. It was one night accepted, Jeff. It was my time. Oh my God. I don't know Why specifically. Why are you so, so hung up on that? I, mean, I was made to feel like an idiot for it. Well, okay. well, you, you invited him over at some point, <laughs> and he says that he went there and that you didn't answer the door. Oh, so he, he told you that part, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was a pretty important part of everything, right? Because that's when that's when you stopped responding to him. Well, the weird thing is that normally when we do this segment, people will ghost each other over text or they'll just, like, break off communication. They won't yeah. actually set up a time to meet that person at mm. their own place mm-hmm. and then yeah. just not show up and answer yeah, the door. Yeah, that's peculiar. Oh, you know, I yeah. kind of like the old school physically doing the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, creates a lot more mystery. She's just watching him through the keyhole. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to help Chris get some understanding of what's going on between you two. Yeah. Um, you know, given his well thought out plan, I wanted to get him back and my plan <gasps> didn't work. Wait, what? Didn't work. You were setting up a whole elaborate prank to prank him back. Of course. Oh, Ooh. my God. What, wait, wait, what, 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 what didn't what? work? What, what part of the plan? Yeah. So I texted him that night and I said, hey, do you want to hook up? Hey, all right. Oh, it was a well, hookup text. Oh. Right. And so I was like, I need you to come over in a half hour. Oh, that should have oh, been the okay. red flag for him is the half hour because oh, yeah. he gave her a half oh, hour. You're just mirroring his prank okay. in your he own still felt way. Way. I would not have gotten it. I would have been like, oh, my gosh, we're hooking up. Oh, my gosh, we're okay. hooking up. And, and so what's the joke? So, I mean, it was late, and he did come over. Oh, and the thing is God. that I have a friend who's a tow truck driver. Okay. Okay. So I live on the third floor, and I have a clear view to the street view, and he would have seen the tow truck driver hook up his car. <laughs> oh, with the oh, actual what? hook to the front of his so car. Wait, <laughs> you weren't going to answer the door, and you were going to get his car towed, and that was the joke? Yeah, I mean, not fully towed, but, yeah. you know, hooked up at least to yeah. the tow truck. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Around the block and then Wait, drops the, it off. so that was the joke you invited him to be Hooked hooking up, up and <laughs> yeah. what you uh, meant was hooking up his car to a tow truck. What else would you have done? He did the whole seafood <laughs> filet yeah. of fish thing. That's a stretch. It's a though. little far. So I don't yeah. think he got the joke. It's more sophisticated. Wait, did yeah. the tow truck thing happen? Because he didn't tell us about it. No, see, that's the thing. My friend had another call where he actually was going to make some money, and oh, he, no. had, he had to leave. <laughs> oh, that's why your plan oh, failed. No. Oh, good thing you didn't call a real tow truck. So why haven't you called him back? Well, because I'm trying to set this up again. It was a great idea. Oh, my God. Wait, you're not letting oh, the joke my go. God. Oh. You guys <laughs> may be meant for each other. Honestly. No, you got to. Oh. It's ruined. Well, it wouldn't have been well, ruined if we didn't call her out on I know. it. I'm yes. sorry. We totally screwed this up oh, for you, uh, your whole yeah. plan, because... Oh. Actually, Chris has been on the other line listening to this conversation the entire time. Are you guys kidding me? 
No. no. We, we did you up. Oh, that was good, Jose. I'm trying to yeah. Play yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't sorry. know that it was an elaborate prank. You guys, you ruined everything. Sorry. Oh. That, that's our bad. Chris, are you there? Yeah, wow, this is not cool, Gina. Not cool. What? Oh, wait. Come on, Chris. Why aren't you laughing, Chris? I thought this would be exactly your type of <laughs> yeah, humor. Yeah, yeah but yeah, my I car? Mean, bro, I mean, that's an ex- it's an expensive car. You got to be careful. I mean, she's going to have my car towed. You could damage the car. Oh, what did I, I do? I brought her to yeah. McDonald's. But the- didn't know we had the fun police on the phone <laughs> yeah. right now. Jeez, I mean, Chris. he is right. I have had buddies have damaged their car while they're getting towed. You but- took her to... F- Fish fillet. But the, okay. the plan, I don't think the plan was to totally, like, tow your car away to some, like, car lot yeah. and make you pay to get it out. I think it, was, it. I think it was just, like, to hook it up as a joke. Right, Gina? Right. I mean, it would have worked had my friend not had to leave for a real call. I mean. I'm glad the plan Chris, didn't work. That's not, a, that's not even a prank. Uh. I mean, my pranks are good. Oh, God. Oh, Oh, God. Dude, I thought you were going to be so excited. You just found out this woman that you like was planning on seeing you again. Yeah. Listen, this doesn't work. In a relationship, there's only room for, like, one funny person, not two. Oh, God. Okay, Uh, I agree with that. And it's the same thing with the morning show. Only one of us can be funny in here. Yeah, that's Jeff. No, I don't know who it is. The filet of fish wasn't that funny, honestly. Oh. Oh, don't tell him that. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, this is going south a little bit. I can't now. believe you found a woman who was okay with being yeah. pranked into a McDonald's <laughs> dinner and you're negative about Blindfolded. it. Blindfolded. Blindfolded. Yeah, Blindfolded. I forgot that. Detail. I mean, look, Chris, she's able to brush off your prank. Why can't you just brush off hers and laugh with her? Well, her prank is borderline dangerous. And oh, God. you know she's going to try to prank me again somehow. And who knows? She might set the house on fire. I don't know. <laughs> like, this, this isn't. Well, he's uh, not wrong. I have about four or five ideas. So oh, I can't oh. oh, so there is a prank coming. I, I think they're coming whether they go out again or not. Yeah, so okay. that, Chris. The war has started. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's unfinished business between you guys, whether it's romance or pranking each other. So I'm going to offer to send you guys out again on another date that we would pay for. <laughs> Plus, we'll toss in a couple of Brooke and Jeffrey whoopee cushions from our prize <laughs> closet. I'm, I'm probably going to stop you right there and just say that I'm not interested and what? I'm probably going to pass on this. Bro. Yeah, I'm Are out. You kid- Are you kidding? It was one bad joke. What Give is- her another Dick in the mud. I'm not sure if I apologize to Gina here or if I apologize to Chris or maybe I should just apologize to the listeners. Yeah. Listeners, uh, I'm sorry that you had to sit through all of that. Yeah. It you was all a joke. Brave. It was just a joke. Yeah. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> Second date phone tap. <laughs> We're so good. <laughs>